feel of that stickiness, that clamminess, the kind of weird feeling that you get inside. We started this show basically due to this engine you see behind us. It's been in this family since 1905. This is a little uh, Cub low boy. In an agreement with the Tannehill State Park, they agreed to let him have the engine back to get it running if we would put a show on. The sound of him and the age and the people you meet that deal with this stuff is just amazing. Oh yeah. I gave this engine to these boys here trying to I like to fool these young people because I'm an old school teacher and they're gonna they're gonna be the ones gonna take over when I'm gone. They found it in a barn in Louisiana. We estimated it had been sitting there for five to ten years in it. It was pretty amazing to me to finally get it running and kind of get things going. And I mean sometimes it'll kind of lose track and backfire like it just did. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, it, it, it runs good enough for me. We're representing about nine states as of right now. We're a group of people who are trying to preserve that heritage. Some of this stuff's over 100 years old and it's still running. Uh, you don't see that with the day stuff. Why didn't you get a new one? Well, I, I'm into antique tractors. If you pull it just hard enough, it'll turn over. I don't know. It's amazing to me. Well, I may not go no further than where I'm at.